camera doesn't have that that front view so I, I, I don't know if it's like saying it or whatever but I'm gonna try my best anyway uh, I promised myself to do this video to compare all the brands uh, the scarf brands that I've tried um, or at least in my possession right now and um, they are um, doo -doo -doo -doo, drum rolls. they are Gazelle KL um, that scarf and another one is Lily so um backstory i have a few videos on duck scarf so if you want to know the history of how i get into duck in the first place to the duck side <laughs> uh, you can actually watch my previous video um link link or whatever just you can look at my channel i don't know how it works anyway um but if you um, want to know uh, the, the story about Guzel? I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the, the, the brief story, the backstory of how I how I try all these brands, and then I'm gonna review them one by one. Um, I'm sorry about the noise. Um, my house is actually near the LRT station, so it's kind of noisy, and I don't have the mic. Not a professional, so bear with me. So, um, Guzel, 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 Guzel KL. Guzel KL is actually founded by my SSP junior, um, Shira Azmi. So, she is a brilliant entrepreneur, I feel, um, because I started following Guzel when she had um, an exchange program in Turkey where she, she sold um, the Turkish hijab. Um, and then she made me want to go to Turkey so and that year I did my internship in Turkey so um, I saw in Turkey a lot of like square hijab um, and then and then and then the business just started there um, at that moment when she she actually uh, came up with uh, not a square hijab uh, she did have a, a square hijab produced like the limited edition or the printed version i'm not sure but i did not get my hand on it because i wasn't around by that time and it was it, it's easily sold out guys like guzel it, it's like sold out like crazy like if you want to buy guzel the moment they say oh we are restocking contact them right away to get your hands on guzel so that's how popular they are so um why i start i wanted to try guzel is because um i've heard so many reviews about guzel kl um specifically because of the materials that they use their quality their range of color um they are basically the next duck or they are already at the same part as duck i have two scarves in my hand can you tell me which one is Dark Scarf and which one is Guzel KL? Uh, I'm gonna reveal after. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start reviewing Guzel first because I already started off with the, the backstory of Guzel, right? Um, so, um, Guzel, in my opinion, it's um, the, the. I'm, I'm very bad about pricing, but. I always buy like Guzel in, in pairs. So I will buy it and they will have this this um this offer. You buy two for hundred ringgit. So I guess one piece is fifty five ringgit and then if you buy two it's like hundred ringgit and then with postage fee it's like hundred and eight ringgit. Um so the good thing about Guzel is actually the materials is is like um, if you've worn that scarf, you know uh, there's like matte satin silk and satin silk. So basically, Guzel, I've only tried one range of Guzel, which is um, matte lux. So the matte lux, um, they are actually combining the matte satin silk and satin silk. Uh, to tell you the truth, the one that I'm holding on my left hand is dark scarf. And then the right hand is Guzel. So, Guzel, okay. They have this. Uh, this is their, their, their brand uh, on the Tudong. Um, and um, the nice thing about Guzel is that, okay, so this is Matte Lux, okay, by Guzel. And this is 
set in silk by Duck. So you see, um, and this is matte satin silk by Duck. So um, it has that not so shiny but still soft, um, still very silky um, finishing of the scarf, but it's like matte satin silk. You know what I mean? Like it has it has that glossy. Not that glossy. It's like it's matte, but it's as soft as satin silk. But the like when I wear this, I feel like I'm wearing satin silk, but actually it's matte. I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, yeah that's how I feel about Guzel, and um, the price range. Oh my god! Like, like after I know about Guzel. I'm like, okay, my God, I, I won't buy matte satin silk or satin silk from Doug anymore. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to buy matte lux from, from Guzel. But the problem about Guzel is that um, they, they don't have a lot of colors in their range. So their colors are very pastel or like black or off-white. But, but the ranges are more like pastel colors. So um, if I want more colors, uh, more color choices, I would go to, to buy Doug. Um, um, but I guess like the, the, the best way, if you feel like Doug is just the more expensive option for you and you want the, the good quality hijab, I guess Guzel is the way to go. So um, the next brand that I want to review is Lilith. So how did I encounter Lilith? So basically, um, I wanted to try a new a new product. I wanted to expand my horizon. So I I was like, okay, let me find on Fashion Valley because that time they already has the, the white worldwide shipping. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna try this Lilith. So Lilith, the price is actually 49 ringgit per piece per piece, if I'm not mistaken. So if you buy Two Guzel, you will no. If you buy two Lilit, you will save two ringgit compared to buying two Guzel, because buying two Guzel means you only pay fifty ringgit per per scarf. Anyway, uh, for but for the quality wise, um, quality I don't know about quality, but the look of it, um, Lilit, Lilit uh has more colors than Guzel. Um, the um, range of uh, scarf, they have this satin satin finishing scarf and another one is like more creep um, and the length of the scarf is actually longer by 10 centimeter compared to duck and Guzel. So if you want to a longer scarf you can opt for Lilith. Um, if you want nicer range of colors of scarf then you can go for Lilith as well but my only complaint is I don't know how to wear them um, you see I like to wear my scarf like a bit loose you know like pin here pin there and then like slimpang like that um, but with Lilith I cannot do that for some reason it just give me a weird shape of um, like here it will be like like this instead of like, like this so I guess it has something to do with the way they, they stitch the, the, I don't know what they call it, like this. So as you notice, um, it's more like the straight, the, the, the classic, um, classic jahit of, of scarf. Um, but with, with Guzel, it's actually um, like this style. And with Duck, it's also this style. So I guess because it's that style, it gives me that this finishing. But with Lilith, it's hard for me to get that kind of finishing. Um, and if I'm wearing like the creep one, it's even harder. So what I have to do is I have to like do the pin, the pin style, um, which it doesn't complement the way I look as much because I will be like chubbier if I if I do that style. Uh, but I like it. I like the look of it on other people, but not mine. Um, so that's my only complaint about Lilith. Otherwise, uh, the price range, uh, the color range is, is perfect, awesome. Um, but how you wear it, I, I guess it takes a professional people because <laughs> I'm just bad at it. So um, that's one of the reasons why like, I don't go for Lilith as much.
but the color is nice. Mm, I wish I just I, I know how to wear it properly. Um, and okay, then the next brand that I want to review is is Doug. So um, Doug, Doug. On the other hand, my mom always said like. Why do you why do you buy dark? You can just buy other brand, blah 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 blah. And I'm like, uh, but that is so nice. Okay, the nicest thing about dark scarf is um they have they have many ranges of 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 scarves that I feel like I appreciate their effort to you know certain people they don't look good in like satin silk they look good more uh, they look better in bawal or they look better in chiffon and will look better in like jersey scarf so Doug has a lot of ranges of scarf and they have a lot of colors um, um so that's the upper hand of of Doug that, uh, that I truly appreciate uh, but I want to share with you um one one range that I, I absolutely love um, but I, I I heard that it could be like a love-hate relationship with some people because um, I know people that just, just say like they couldn't pull it off wearing this kind of scarf uh, but I guess I guess it works pretty well on me um, so I'm gonna unbox this I just bought this at One Utama oh my god you guys the One Utama one uh, the One Utama <laughs> the One Utama scarf uh, store is awesome like awesome it's 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 not i, I feel like the, the the concept is there like the the library concept and the workers are friendly um i love i love that store i just wish that it's it's in subang it's in damansara so far away. um um so the the range that i love from doug is this range Woo like spring right it's actually pleats um pleats is actually um the range that you don't have to iron that's the best part of it it has lots of colors but the only bad side is it runs out easily like when they got restocked you just have to buy it if not you go like to every store you couldn't find it so so i went to pavilion and klcc to find um pleats they don't have it but when i went to one utama they have only two colors left and then i just got this one because i just have two i don't have this color in this range <laughs> uh problem with girls um yeah uh and 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 the best thing about dark as opposed to like the other brands they have the printed version um the, the printed and they also have the limited edition um, to be honest um, not all printed dark is nice um, not all limited edition dark is nice uh, I mean the design but uh, when they're nice they're super nice <laughs> like my favorite printed one um, the, the geometric one oh my god I love it um, I have it there <laughs> and um, I guess for the limited edition, my 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 best go to one is actually the blurred line uh, edition. And then um, for the bawal, oh my god, guys! In my previous video, I said I've never tried the marine one. I love it. Some people say they don't like it. Like my mom, she hates it because she said it doesn't stay on her face. Like it's very soft. But I told her you need the starch. Okay, the thing about dark is the 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 kind is so soft, so soft that you need the starch to let it stay on you. So that's my best friend. The easy on starch. Like that's the lifesaver. So um so whenever um, I want to buy Bawal, I would go for the matte satin silk. I don't need the starch for that. And then the the, the, the marine one. The marine one, you've got to have um, the starch. Um, but price-wise, you know, duck is always a pricey site. Um, after watching the video about, you know, how they manufacture duck, I get it why they're expensive. Um, and my mom said like half of the cost is actually for the box. <laughs> uh maybe true um but uh but overall i get it why dark is also 
why people love that um, because of the concept and the colors the ranges um, but I want to tell the world um, especially if you are finding the right scarf for you um, there are other options other than duck if you think duck is like the more expensive one you can opt for gazelle or lily if you want more colors but but my best bet is gazelle gazelle kl um i will link all the brands instagram that i've mentioned in the description below and um i guess that's all for my review it's getting dark um i don't have the the lampu um like a very basic reviewer vlogger i don't know what to call myself not a youtuber i'm just giving my honest opinion um but anyway uh that's all from me um i hope you like this kind of review i wish i can do more reviews but i'm thinking of what kind of reviews because i don't buy a lot of things these are basically where my money goes the scarf <laughs> okay with that um bye, -bye. with that